Hey guys, and welcome back to my channel. Um, today is the second day of our series for the Leak Code 75 study plan. So today we're going to be diving into the problem of the greatest common divisor of strings. Uh, this problem is ranked as easy, and I would say myself it's a pretty easy problem after having uh, briefly looked over it. So um, yeah, let's go ahead and dive right into it. Um, so first off, before we start actually doing the code implementation, I want to give you guys an explanation um, so we can understand this problem a little bit um, before actually writing the code for it. Because at first, for me, um, when I when I went through the problem um, for the first time, it was a little bit like hard to understand uh, or hard to get the logic to implement it. Um, so we're going to be using a recursive uh, solution for this, right? So um, first, uh, let me go ahead and read the uh, instructions. So for the two strings S and T, we say that T divides S if and only if S equals T plus T plus T and so on. Um, T needs to be concatenated with itself one or more times. Given two strings, string one and string two, return the largest string x such that x divides both string one and string two. And you can see in the examples we have like some uh, some sample code, right, or some sample input. So ABC, ABC, and string two is ABC. Then it needs to return ABC um, and so forth. Um, so basically what we need to do in terms of our process is ensure that string one is not shorter than string two if it is we just need to reverse those next we need to check if string one starts with string two if it doesn't we return an empty string because that means that there's no common sequence because once again it needs to be a a, a repetition of the of basically of a substring right for string two um, and then if string one does start with string two, then we should remove the part of string one that matches string two, leaving us with a potentially shorter string one in the same string two. Then we have to repeat this process with our string one and string two until we eventually get an empty string one, which means that we found the shorter sequence that can construct both the original strings and that's our answers, right? So let's go ahead and start with our code implementation, we're gonna be doing this in Java. So uh, first we need to check the length, right? So uh, that's gonna be if string one dot length is less than string two dot length. And then once again, um, like I said earlier, all we need to do is, uh, is go ahead and um, reverse the string. So we just do that by calling it with uh, and, re and switching the parameter places, right? So we'll put string two here and string one right here. Cool. And then we're just going to do an else if, right, to make sure uh, to check that if uh, string one starts with string two, right? So we'll do string one and then we can do uh, starts with, which is a built-in method that checks if it starts with the same character, right? So string one and then um, we'll put string two right here. Cool. And then of course we have the exclamation point to check, you know, the inverse. So if it if it doesn't start, then we're just going to return uh, blank, right? Because that's what they want us to see in this example output right here. If 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 there's no uh, common denominator, basically, then we just return an empty string. Cool. So then let's go on to our next else if statement, right? So uh, basically now we need to check if string two is empty because if string two is empty, then that means that we've done our, done our job and we can return string one. Right? Okay. And then if that's not the case, then this is our final conditional statement, right? So then what we're going to want to do is we're going to want to make a recursive call on uh, greatest common denominator of strings. And then basically what we're going to want to do here is we'll do the cutoff version of string one, right? Because we're gradually reducing string one until it's blank or it doesn't match. So we'll do substring and then 
we'll do, uh, let's see here, string two dot length, excuse my typing guys, string two dot length, and uh, we'll put in string two right here. Cool. Oh, oops, I meant to put that outside of the parentheses, string two, cool. So this should work. Let's go ahead and try this. Cool, right? And we get a runtime of zero milliseconds. We can go ahead and submit this. Awesome. All right. So this is a pretty fast solution. It beats, you know, 100% um, in terms of memory, 87%. So not bad. Um, so we can talk, we can briefly touch on the time and space complexity, right? So the time complexity of this algorithm is O of N, where N is the length of the longer string. We say this because in the worst case scenario, the algorithm performs a small amount of work for each character in the longer string. And then I would say that the space complexity is also O of N. And the reason behind this is that we use a recursive approach here. So each recursive call is stored in a call stack and in the worst case scenario, the depth of the recursion could be as long as the length of the longer string. So there you have it, the greatest common um, divisor of strings. There we go. And uh, if you like this video or you found it helpful, uh, please go ahead and like it. Um, if you have any questions or feedback for me, please go ahead and leave that in the comments section. Um, once again, this is going to be part of the Elite Code 75 study plan. So I'm going to be going through um, all these problems and trying to post all, all of them, if not most of them, onto my YouTube channel for you guys to watch and to tag along with. So um, yeah, go ahead and leave a uh, like or leave a comment. And if you can, um, help me out and go ahead and then, then go ahead and subscribe because I'm a new channel here and I'm, I'm trying to grow and and uh and spread my content so thank you for watching and we'll see you next time